Good morning, YouTube friends. I'm just checking in here with y'all on this Saturday morning. The sun is shining. Don't mind my messy house. Um, and I just have a few errands to run. So first, I'm gonna head to Starbucks. Um, so I will catch up with you all in a little bit. Hey guys, just made it to Starbucks. My gosh, the line is long on a Saturday morning. Um, but I hope you guys all are doing well. Um, sorry for my messy hair. It's just kind of doing its own thing and no makeup. Um, I just literally want to get my errands done so I can get home and edit this vlog for you guys. But let me know what you guys are up to today. Um, I'm on the search for a watermelon. So I will let you all know if I find a watermelon. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I will keep you along on my journey of doing errands today. I don't know if you can see. Let me flip my camera around here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the line for the drive through And there's still more cars behind me. Like, what? I just want my coffee. Also, if you guys are big um, Starbucks fans, I highly recommend the white chocolate mocha with hazelnut added. Literally the best. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I went to Starbucks, got me some cake pops, and if you've never had a cake pop, I'm very sorry for you, but you should try one. The pink one is my favorite, but they have other ones too. Um, then I ordered my favorite drink, which is the white chocolate mocha iced, and I recently discovered that if you add hazelnut syrup to it, it is perfection. But I don't like whipped cream, like I'm just not a huge fan of it. So I ordered it through drive up, no whipped cream, hazelnut, and what do I get on it? Whipped cream. When I tell the lady I ordered no whipped cream, she goes, oh, we must not have saw it. Guys. What does that say? It says, no whip. No whip. Right there. No whip. So then she goes, well, I can scrape it off for you if you'd like. And I'm like, no, I won't be that person today. I'll just drink it. But never had an issue with Starbucks, guys. Come on, get it together. You have one job. Read a label and make coffee. Anyways, that's my rant. I'll be back soon, and I will take you on my journey of trying to find a watermelon. All right, guys, I made it to Aldi. I first had to get my eyebrows waxed. Shh, very red. So keeping these bad boys on for now. Um, but I just made it to Aldi, so I'm gonna run inside and see if I can find a watermelon. Um, I will keep you updated. It's very, very busy here. So I will be right back with an update on if I found my watermelon. And I see everything but watermelons. I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, oh, I think we're in luck, guys. I found them, I found them. Two whole pallets full of watermelons. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna pick one out. So I gotta put my phone down. Oh, guys, which one do I get? Oh, they all look so delicious. I don't know you guys. Help. All right, I'll be back. I gotta figure out how to lift this and I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got home and I got my watermelon. Yeah. I went to like three different Aldi's here because nobody had watermelon and it's on sale this week. So I really wanted this watermelon. Okay. So I wonder, whoop. All right, sorry guys, bear with me here. Trying to set you up here. Okay, so I'm also gonna vlog um, some recipes. Um, I'm gonna throw dinner in the crock pot, and I had a couple people ask um, to do a cooking vlog. Um, I am by no means a professional cooker, um, nor do I like to really cook. 
Um, but I do, so I do a lot of crock pot recipes. Um, so tonight is going to be um, chicken fajitas. So I'll walk you through um, what I do um, for my chicken fajitas. And I'm just looking for my seasoning here. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I always do two packets of fajita seasoning mix. Um, so I have two of those. And you can do one, it's kind of a preference thing. Um, and then I'm going to get some chicken breast, some frozen chicken breast. So bear with me here. So I got some frozen chicken breasts, and you can do more or less, again, it's a preference thing. Um, however many you like, um, these are more of like a chicken thigh, so we're not going to do these, we're going to do the actual chicken breasts. So then what I do is I take the chicken breasts and I usually always do them frozen. And of course they're frozen together, but that's fine. We'll just stick them right in the crock pot here. All right, so stick those in. Then um, we'll add our, I add one packet of mix on top of the chicken. So I'm just gonna throw this in here quick. All right, so then we got that in there. And then I always do peppers. So I have um, a mixture of red and yellow, and then I also do green as well. I just have to find them. All right, so we got some green onions, or peppers, green, yellow, and red. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut these up. And let me see here. All right, so I just um, cut them, obviously, um, just in half. Um, I keep them long, but kind of not super thin um, because they do shrink in the crock pot. Um, so like this, I would just cut in half one more time. Um, this one though is probably good. Just taking the seeds off here because nobody likes seeds. Okay, so like that. And then I literally just throw it in the crock pot. So I'm just gonna Cut these up here. I'm sorry I should have had this stuff prepped already, but I literally just got home from my adventure of trying to find a watermelon, which I didn't think it would be that difficult to find a watermelon. But I guess when they're on sale for $2.99, they're kind of a hot commodity. So anyways, I found my watermelon and we're good to go. I'm trying to eat healthier because I'm trying to lose some weight. And so I'm trying to eat, oops, trying to eat um, more fruits and veggies. And I love watermelon. All right, so let me just, so, so you can put in as many peppers as you want. Um, you know, obviously, the more you put in, um, you know, the more it's gonna make. Um, so I guess it really kind of just depends on how many people you're feeding. Um, but yeah, the most tedious part is just cutting everything up. Um, 
So I'm going to end my blog here and then I will show you guys what it looks like once I'm done um, cutting all of this up. All right, guys, final product. Peppers, onions, chicken, some seasonings. It's on low. I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to let her cook. So I'll show you the final product tonight and how it turns out. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I promised you I would show you the final product of tonight's chicken fajitas. Here it is. I'm just gonna stir them up a little bit. I can hear them sizzling here. See that chicken is getting nice and tender. Um, all the juices in there are just from the vegetables and the chicken and the seasoning. Um, but it's as simple as that. I just let it cook on low for six to eight hours and that's the final product. All right guys, so that is my Saturday. Um, it was a pretty crazy day, but all in all, it was it was a great day. So it is time for me to sit back and relax and I will come up with a video idea for tomorrow for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. And share with your friends as well. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow. I hope you have a great Saturday night. Bye.